Welcome to the switch up. This is about Playhouse Studios and your boy Mr. HQ. Who we got with us today? Yes, sir. It's your boy, Mr. They Need She. You know, you can follow me on Instagram at They Need She. Okay, They Need She. Where you from? Um, Brooklyn, Brooklyn made me, but Atlanta raised me. You okay, know what I'm okay. Brooklyn, we're going to get back to that. But tell us about this song. What's the name of the song you just performed for us? Uh, the name of the song is I Need You. I'm sorry. I, the name of the song is I Miss You. I apologize. I miss you. I miss you. Um, I made this song about my mother who had breast cancer. She uh, just passed a year ago. She was fighting breast cancer for eight years. She wow. beat it twice, and then the third time, I, it, you know, it my got the best of her. Man. I appreciate that. I just lost two relatives to cancer, man. Yeah, it's I've, I've been hearing a lot of cancer-related deaths lately too, and it's it's crazy it's because it's I haven't food. noticed it before until now. It's the food. Uh, you know, people been saying that while you playing for. Nah, I ain't playing. I'm um, dead ass serious. It's <laughs> yeah. the food, bro. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot like that. Though. I know they putting it in our food, bro. Yeah, but um, for sure, sure. Yeah, so uh, I made it about her or whatever, cause um. When she first passed, actually, I was looking and like looking for a song, you know what I'm saying? Look, because I knew I had to get it out some type of way. And um, a year later, I ended up finding the beat for it on some humbug type stuff because I was like, I was in a funk and, you know, I was feeling like I was losing my musical ability, you know what I'm saying? Thinking yeah. like I was just, I was falling off or whatever. And I was just like, let me try to make a song or whatever. And the first song that literally, or the first beat that literally popped up was this beat. And it was just like, the I song spoke it. to me. Yeah, I it spoke do to it. me. <laughs> For know. sure. Yes, sir. How long you been doing music? Uh, sh I started doing music when I was like nine years old. I'm 30. Mm. You know, I started doing music when I was like nine. I um, I initially wanted to uh sing, but when I realized that wasn't like my best <laughs> talent, you know what I'm saying? I still had a way with words, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I started rapping, um, listening to Cassidy. Eminem, Lil Wayne, and stuff like that, and they made me like. So those are the ones that influenced you to yeah, rap. Yeah, Cassidy is the, actually the reason why I actually started rapping. Like, so you like battle rap? Yeah, I love battle rap. I st actually started as a battle rapper for real, for real. Whoa! Yeah, but, uh, Who your favorite battle rapper besides Cassidy? Right now, my favorite battle rapper would be um, Geechee Gotti. I like <laughs> T Top. I like that boy Sue. I like uh, my boy Chess. Who else? Uh, oh, I'm forgetting my guy. What's his name? Uh, New Jersey Twerk. That boy going okay. crazy. You know, okay. I fuck with them guys, though. For one, I like the fact that because I can't freestyle, so I love freestyle battle rappers. You feel me? Anybody who can freestyle, I might have salt to you. You feel okay. me? But like, I like the way how, you know what I'm saying, like he came in and he let it be known, like this is who I am, this is how I am. Respect it, don't respect it. But nigga, I'm here and I'm gonna eat off your plate and everybody else's plate. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? That, I just I just rock with Cud like that. He nice with it. For mm. real. So you've been entertained by. Ah, <laughs> I'm stuck on the Geechee part, bro. Yeah, man. So yeah. how you you like Papoos? Yeah, I rock with Pap. I rock with Pap. Yeah, yeah, I like Pap. Uh, yeah, heavy too. I ain't even gonna hold you up. Yeah, you like, from New York, you yeah, from Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, I rock with I rock with Pap. You know what I'm saying? Pap is Pap is a really good dude, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I got I like the talent, you know what I'm saying? Okay, for sure. Him as a person, I don't you know what I'm saying, I don't know who he is. You Understood. dig what I'm saying? But Understood. as far as what he do on that stage, I got, I got a lot of respect for him. That man the truth. You know what I'm saying? He definitely got some skill. He got yeah, some skill. Man, the boy serious. <laughs> so being from Brooklyn, mm -hmm. what's what's the difference? Cause you said you from Brooklyn and from Atlanta. So the the difference in lifestyle and 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 growing up on both sides. Speak on that for me. Tell us a little well, bit about that. Well, honestly, and the crazy part is like, okay, so, you know, it, it was really like child's play for me when I was up there, cause I was young, you feel me? So I wasn't really like on motion like I am in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? So gotcha. as far as like that go, like from watching my older cousins and, you know, seeing and talking to the other New Yorkers that I know or whatever the case may be, I can honestly say it really ain't too much of a big difference. You know what I'm saying? As far as, it's just the the, the lifestyle, like, you know what I'm saying? As far as like the way people think, like it's more, it's actually more brotherly up there than it is here. It's more, it's more love being shown 
up top than it is out here. And I can honestly say that because a lot of people really, you know, <laughs> out here. Out here is different because it's it's more diverse in Atlanta. I was about right to say now. that too. It's a lot of different people. Everybody's out here. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. a big melting pot out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But And see, in New York, you're going to deal with somebody from New York. Exactly. You know exactly. What I mean? You might deal rare. with somebody that's not from there, but they visiting. And yeah. they leaving, you yeah. know what I'm saying? In Atlanta, everybody's moving here. Yeah. I just met people from Cal. I met a dude from uh, Russia at my job, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like real life. Like, I never met a Russian dude before, you feel me? Met somebody who moved here from London, you dig what I'm saying? So it's everybody is in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's besides, the one Besides the film world, why you think people move into Atlanta? Shoot. What's your take on it? The price of living, you know what I'm saying? It's high. But not like how in other places are like you'll you'll get you'll get two thousand dollars in New York and you'll be in a little whatever whatever whatever. But out here, it's a nice little. It's What's a, a whatever whatever whatever? <laughs> <laughs> Describe the whatever 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 one time be, for the people. All right, so I'm gonna compare it to a motel room out here. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. what you when you go if you go to like. Uh, 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 in suite out here, that's what your room, that's what your apartment look like in New York for two thousand dollars. That's fucked. Up. <laughs> you know what that's that? the project. But that's the real though. Yeah. I, I mean, that's just for what folks I know. You know what I'm saying? How they living? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But as far as like, you know what I'm saying? The price of living out here, yeah, it's high, but it's like it's bang for your buck. You know what I'm saying? You 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 be paying. 2600 for an apartment or whatever, but at least it's in a, a decent area in the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got a nice overlook. You got okay. uh, 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 private entries and, and garages to, you know what I'm saying? Permanent okay. assigned spots and valet trash. And you're not doing that. <laughs> That's not, you're right. You're, you're not right. doing that no more. Now like, that you say that from a different <laughs> perspective, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? It make a lot of I, sense. I, I only reason Especially why I say from that. a New York perspective. Because I work. Actually, my my first job that I do during the day, I work in apartment complexes. You know what I'm saying? I'm tr I'm groundskeep. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I've been to a lot of different apartment complexes, and I seen like, and I'm asking like, what y'all paying for the rent over here? So, the rent ridiculous, but if you <laughs> see what they got, it makes sense. Yeah. They gym look like Planet Fitness. They pool look like the Aquatic Center. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it makes sense. It makes sense. It's the bang for your buck. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's just. Hey, man. So the little diversity done helped you along the way a lot, huh? It, it definitely is an eye opener. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm it definitely gives you opportunities and options. You know what I'm saying? Tell me the craziest thing you done seen since. How long have you been here first? Let's start there. How like long I said, they raised, they raised me. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, okay. so, so like can... I said, like the 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 what I've seen there, I, I was a child. You feel me? So I probably gotcha. really didn't even know what I was looking at. Gotcha. You feel me? Gotcha. So, okay. What's the craziest thing you've seen in Atlanta living here? <laughs> Just one of the craziest stories you could tell us. Uh, I went to Stevenson High School. Okay. I. Right? Uh, one of my partner partners, like, I right, so before I started, like, really, really rapping, I would slick a little nerd for real, right? I, I don't want to so, cut you off, so you don't have to say no names. Go, keep going. All right, copy. So one of my partner partners, you know what I'm saying, yeah. me and him used to do, like, comic books and whatnot together or whatever. So one day, you know what I'm saying, um, I didn't come to school this day, but I get a phone call from one of our other homies, like, hey, so-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so just got checked out of school by so-and-so's mom. And uh, if you check the news, bro, they just robbed the bank. Whoa. I wasn't expecting that, but keep going. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. So, <laughs> so I'm calling my bro. I'm like, I'm like, yo, like, I'm calling his phone, calling his phone, calling his phone. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? He's not answering the phone. So I'm like, uh, damn. Like, so I, I turn on the news. They robbed the bank. They got chased. So-and-so totaled the car. Uh, the mother got off, took out a run. The son. The the, hold on, the mama in the. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. So you saying the parent? Yeah. And the child went to go rob the bank. No, no, the parent, the child, and two other of our homeboys. All three. I know wow. all three of these guys. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, all three of these guys. They, Did they go in with a gun or a note? The guns. They went in. Gun, went in with guns. Whoa. The how they got caught was because the mom was was lit. And on the way there, she got the gun out the window. So somebody who rided behind her, like, hey, 
five o. I, I see so and so and so so with a, a gun out the window. She got three so and sos in the car, and uh, I'm I'm following them right now. But you know, I, I'm just letting you know this is what's going on. They so she, somebody dropped. Dropped the dime on them. Before they even got to the bank. So by the time they went in and came out, it was already <laughs> lit. It was like, whoop. Wow. But they got in the car, took off. The mom was driving, but you know what I'm saying? She couldn't control or whatever, crashed the she car. She tried to put them folks on a high speed. Oh, yeah, she was gone. And she was gone. And they, they were gone. Like, she was baby Toretto out there, for real. She had it. That's crazy. <laughs> she had it, for sure. For sure. Ain't no way. On life. And this you can look it up too. I know cap no exaggeration of fabrication. When we finish this, I can give you the name so you can look it oh up. Oh my god, don't do that. I don't want to see that. <laughs> and it's real life. It's real life. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, my boy's still on house arrest right now. So you play sports in high school? Uh I actually did um wrestling. Uh, in ninth grade, What's well, the eighth and ninth that grade. in wrestling? I know it's some funny <laughs> shit that be Bro, happening. I ain't gonna hold you the, the first time, see, cause like you know, like with your cousins, you y'all. I don't know if y'all ever called it bamming. Y'all ever Slamming called it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's different when you're doing it with your cousin, cause like they not really trying to hurt you, hurt you, cause then you gonna go tell. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. But like wrestling, nah, like he telling them, and he telling you, like. Y'all hurt each other. Like, yeah. that's literally, we used to, uh, it, it was this thing we did called uh, the gladiator circle. And um, one guy standing in the middle of the circle, everybody, it's, it's about 15 to 18 of us on the team, everybody running around him. Yeah. He'll call somebody out and they got to get in the circle and oh, slam him like out. that's like a bull ring in football. That's how we okay. used to do the bull ring. But he got to get in the circle yeah. and slam him out. If he, or you slam him out, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Whoever, do whatever, but you don't leave that circle till you go through at least about 10 to 12 of them guys, you know what sure. I'm saying? So my first time, you know what I'm saying, going in there, okay, let's let's start with this. I am only 5'6", okay? I am, at the time, I was only probably about 115 pounds, Whoa. you know what I'm saying? Lightweight. Yeah, but I was strong for, for a little dude, you know what I'm saying? So. The first guy, you know, he he tried to he tried to go up top. So me being short, I know under, you know what I'm saying. So he tried to go up top. I slipped. I go under. I slam him out. So the next time he sends the bigger dude in there, send a the bigger guy in there. You know what I'm saying. I try to do the same thing. Realize it's a little bit above my weight class. Yeah. So then I try to basically move around him till he tired out. But he grabbed me by my shirt when I was going this way, and I swear it felt like a child with his father because he grabbed me by my shirt and pulled me like this, and I literally left my feet, and he grabbed me, I, no, like, no bull, no, no bull. Like, he grabbed me, and my feet went like this, and he grabbed me and pulled me to him, and then he grabbed me like this, and you know, the suflex. When I tell you, I was he out of out breath, he I was hey, I was daisy, and like on everything I love, bro, it took like everything in me not to quit right then and there. Like it like yeah. to like right like in that moment, like walk off the mat, like fuck y'all, fuck this, I'm done. I'm done. But it was the fact that the matter like at the time, like I was also boxing, so I want I wanted to do MMA. You know what I'm saying? So at the time I was like, okay, this is real. Like this is what it's gonna take. Like, Big real. So it just I just I had to take a minute, you know what I'm saying? I went to the corner <laughs> real quick. I had to talk to myself for a minute and really be like, hey man, if this is what you wanna do, <laughs> we need to know now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. And when I say we, I'm talking my like body. we need to we need to know now. Like my body and soul need to know. Like this is really what we're doing. So I was like, all right, boom. So the next time, you know, he I got back in there. And then after that, I was a dog, like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't taking it from nobody. I was trying to find the quickest ways. To, I was doing knees. I was taking throats. I was doing so whatever. So you knee people in wrestling? No, no, no. I was going for knees. Oh, okay. Cause like, okay, so like if, if they heavy dudes, they got weak knees. That's one thing I learned from dealing with other past experiences. Take note on this, fellas. Yeah, and, and you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's facts, because they got a lot of weight on their knees. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So they big dudes, they got weak knees. So I was already I'm kicking I, I big was dudes already in their shooting, knees from shooting now on. For, shooting for the knee. Because yeah. he's not going to be able to drop quick enough for me to, you know what I'm saying, for him to stop me. So okay. then if he was a shorter dude or whatever, you know what I'm saying, you my weight. So at this point, nigga, it's about who wanted more. You know what I'm saying? Mm, and at, talk to and at that point, it was like, you know what I'm saying? After that, I was embarrassed. So I was like, Nick, I want, I got to embarrass somebody at this point. So if you ever, if anybody ever got in there my size, I was trying to embarrass you with every fiber of my being. I was trying to embarrass you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. So 
I was just, you know. All right. Yeah. So let's get back to the music, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that big dude changed my life. I ain't even gonna hold you. Yeah, that big dude. Yeah. With the music, you got any projects coming out? I actually, um, on my birthday uh, of this year, I had uh, Pat, I, I dropped an album um, on your mark. I'm doing a three series album on okay. your mark. Get set and go. Okay. Um, I'm working on. Why you named it that? Uh, Why you named it that? Um, the build up, the uh, the anticipation. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I want I want the suspense, the build up of, you know, um, on your mark. So like basically saying like you know. I'm 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 starting. This is what this is what I'm starting. This is how I'm coming into this. This is this is what you this is what you get for my my introduction. Get set. Get set is like okay, like all right now. Like I told you what I was how coming. I was coming. This is like hey, all right. I'm I'm on the way now. Go is like all right, nigga. Now I'm on. Now I'm definitely Same in route, cool. nigga. Like it's it's, it's I, GPS say about 15 minutes and I'm at your face. You feel me? Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? So. It's just basically like a build up the suspense for people to understand that, you know what I'm saying? I'm really serious about what I'm doing and I'm really How on many the way songs with that. Per well, this one, um, this album I just did, uh, on your mark, it had uh thirteen songs. But um Any significance in the number? No, nah, actually it wasn't actually. It was just more so of the more I give them of me, I wanted to give them the variety. Like I wanted to be able to show them that I could touch on every basis. If you want a trap rap, you know what I'm saying? If you want real hip hop, if you want a love song, if you want a sex song, you know what I mean? However you want it, it's, it's, it's on there somewhere. Find it, okay. it's on there for you. Okay. You know, Club Banger, it's on there for you. What's one of your favorite ones off the, off the um, album? <laughs> my favorite one on there, and my, my, by myself. By myself. It's called by myself. By myself. Why you chose that one? Um, because at that time, that was where um, when I made that song, I was actually um, I was actually asking a lot of people to help me do basically what it is I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was asking uh, people, you know, to spin this because they got access to DJs, so spin this and you know and or or repost my music. It's free. You know what I'm saying? All it takes for you to do is hit that little airplane play. thing and and just, you ain't got to make no message about it just repost it it's yeah. free because if god wills it and i pop tomorrow you're gonna be trying to tell everybody and their mama how how we related or we cool or some way shape form or fashion Fact. you're gonna want show tickets you're gonna want this that and the third so while it's free do it now but nobody was doing it so the song says you know if i gotta do it by myself that's how i eat too i was taught don't need nobody you make them need you you know what i'm saying so like that was just basically like you know if i gotta keep begging and i'm not finna keep begging y'all you feel me i'm not about to keep asking and asking and asking for you to do something and you know, believe in something that i believe in when if it's your if it's on the shoe on the other foot i'm right behind you you know what i'm saying i'm i'm, I'm sending you whatever it is you need or i'm, I'm telling people about you or whatever the case it is gotcha. you know what i'm saying so if i had to do it by myself that's how i eat too so a lot of the time that's how people made me feel so that's why so on that note Besides that song, give us another song that you would recommend us as outsiders that hasn't heard that that project yet. What song would you request that we listen to first? Say that. Say that. Say that. That's one of your go hard songs. That, that's <laughs> say that. <laughs> say that then. <laughs> like say for that real. Then. Like by the time you by the time you finish hearing that song, I promise you that's gonna be give me in the your first eight bars of the first verse. This shit so dynamite, I'm about to show my ass for JJ. Your girl still push up on me, trying to give me hover JJ. Ain't working for no nigga, can't be waiting on no payday. Her, she known for going down me and my niggas call her Mayday. Put a full tank okay. in a Dutch master, vanilla coke in my douce. I tried to tell you that I'm getting better. I don't evolve, I mutate. I always had a nigga in their mouth, I hope it hurt you bitches like a toothache. Thought they had all my moves down till I hit you niggas with a new play. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. that's what the fuck. Yeah, nah, that shit, that's hey, what I'm nah, talking that's, about. Say that and by myself, I honestly, okay. yeah, them, 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 the ones right there. That's what's so, up. Yeah. It's a couple, it's a couple more ones on there for sure, but them my baby babies right there. Those like, two right there. You know how moms got their favorite kids. Have them you started on that next, that next one yet? I actually you? have. Um, see, well, actually, no, I haven't. I'm actually doing because I, um, I'm trying to build my brand. They need she. Okay. So I'm doing a they need she mixtape. 
right? Oh. So I'm doing like original beats, but I'm also taking other rappers' beats to get other niggas to be like, oh yeah, he needs sheet on that shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's shit. hard. I like you know that concept. So, yeah, I like so that concept. That's the uh, that's what I'm actually working on right now. The they need sheet mixtape. Okay, so you you putting the project on hold for a second? Yeah, and concentrate on this mixtape, and then yeah. we back to. I mean, I, I'm I'm really trying to do both at the same time. Like I'm trying to see like if I if I feel like this is more commercial than like mixtape vibe, then I'm gonna put it on the album. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But if I feel like this is more mixtape vibe, like more freestyle, more just like running gunning, then it, it'll go for the mixtape. But if it's real hard, I still might throw it on the album for real. Gotcha. Yeah. My next question. Like in the studio right now, like, mm -hmm. are you are you in the studio simultaneously trying to work on both projects, or you in the studio just rolling the dice? Like, okay, if this whatever if this comes and comes, however it comes and comes, whatever. Like, if I'm if I'm in the studio, whatever we coming up with, if it if it hit like a banger, if it hit like a a commercial joint, it'll go for the album. If it hit like a a, a freestyle running gun joint, like if it's just some shit that we could just you know, vibe to it real quick or whatever. So you ain't really just going in there with no target though. Nah, I, I'm not honestly, cause I, I feel like when I do that, I try to put myself in a box and I cut off my creative. The creative You know what I'm saying? Yeah, flow. like I just, I feel like if it just, if it just comes and that means it was meant to be. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense though, that yeah. makes sense. So then do you tag it at, after that point? Like, okay, when you hit a song, you play it back. Oh yeah. Now you're like, okay, oh, yeah, yeah. this joint going on. Yeah, that's the one. album, yeah. Yeah, so just like now that. you tag that song with the album name, mm -hmm. or do you just leave it? No, no, nah, I put it with the album name. Like, um, like I Miss You, that was recent, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I Miss You was recent, um, and before then, I had did like a a, a little, the little Baby Freestyle stand on it. You know what I'm saying? I knew that was for the, for the mixtape. And I was really trying to keep following up with that type of energy, but I, when I heard that or whatever, when I heard that beat, well, initially when I heard the beat, I already knew what was going on the album. You know what I'm saying? It sounded like something that needed to be put on album an cut. album. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it just like it has that vibe off the rip, like it has that 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 connection off off the head. Is that the main single for the album? Honestly. Um, I can't say right now because, you know what I'm saying, I know other craziness might come later on, you know what I'm saying, so I'd rather, like, get it all, get the collective whole, and then I'll decipher which is going to be the lead between okay, the, the I was going to say, that's a real touching song, so, like, is is that going to set the tone for the rest of the songs that you create, or you just, you still going to kind of free ball and let that be a free spirit song? Well, see, because the song is so relatable, you know, um, I didn't really want to put it like as, in a, a, a bass. Like if I wanted to use it as a lead or if I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. didn't want it because it's a hit and miss. Like it's really like no telling like how it really would do for real. Yeah. You know, people might feel it to the point where it's like, yeah, because everybody missed somebody. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is, is mad that somebody's gone. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it was always like one of those situations where it's like, I didn't want to make it seem like, okay, this is the lead single for this album because I didn't want to keep, um, I didn't want to keep- uh, Keep that same vibe going right. throughout and the- As far as like the sadness of it. If yeah, you know, yeah. You know that's I mean? why I asked because yeah. that joint is a touching song to come out with that, that joint first would be like, all right, so what you telling us the rest of this album, what to expect from the rest of this album or the right, rest of this project? Right, um, Honestly, the reason why I pulled this one first more so, though, is because, for one, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Okay. So, you know, that, that and then my mother, um, before she passed, she had a, a foundation for uh, breast cancer survivors and people who are going through it or people who have people with breast cancer and so on and so forth. So. I felt like this song for this month was perfect because it'll, it'll reach them for sure. For sure. It, it, it'll, it'll appeal to them for sure. So basically, more so than anything, this is really for for them and us and so on and so forth type deal. But like as far as like, I actually got another video shoot tomorrow so for you know another song off the album or whatever. So it's not to 
say like how I was gonna lead this the the album off. It's really still in the air okay. as it's coming. Gotcha. My next question would be So the mixtape, what's do you have how I wanna ask you this? Not do you have a lead for that? Cause you really don't have like singles for mixtapes, right. but some people do though. Okay. Some um, people do cause they be pushing a mixtape and it's really an album, but they saying it's a mixtape cause they don't want to count the sales. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. You feel um, me? So that's why I, I want to say like with your <laughs> mixtape project, I want to get more information on that as well. Like how you going about that? Like, I, I know you you taking industry beats and original beats, mm -hmm. but are you orchestrating it as a real project as well though, or um, you just free basing it? Well, see, yeah, in a way, well, more so yes, because even if these industry beats are heard by these industry people who whose songs these originally are, uh -huh. and they reach out and they be like, hey, I like what you did, and they want to you know work with it then yeah, I definitely would, you know, I want that avenue to be open, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, also, it's really like more so, more so for fun to showcase my my lyricism and my my creative, my creativity, you know what I'm saying? Being able to, like I said, show people how versatile that I can be, gotcha. you know what I'm saying? Like, gotcha. I just really, that's more than anything what I want to showcase on, on gotcha. this mixtape. So tell us this, tell us something positive that you can give to the artist that's on the come up right now that's trying to get their music together just like yourself man keep going keep going keep going keep going because you know god knows people been telling me as a matter of fact i just had a conversation with someone i'm not gonna say who but i just had a conversation with someone and they said i thought when you turned 30 that you said you was gonna start rapping you know what I'm saying? And I feel like one, I'll be, be doing a great disservice to myself if I actually fall through and did what I said I was gonna do it. If I said when I turned 30, I was gonna stop rapping. So just keep going because people say that it's not realistic and that's only because that they don't see what you see because they're not in it. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you how realistic being a plumber is because I'm not a plumber. I can't tell you about how I risk uh, a mechanic, because I'm not a mechanic, a barber, but I'm a barber, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 you know? Same thing, I So got you. It's, it's basically like, man, don't let nobody tell you, you know what I'm saying, that it's not realistic because it's not realistic to them. Because at the end of the day, you could, anything could happen. Tomorrow could be your day. Next week could be your day, you know what I'm saying? All it takes is to be heard by that right person or to be, you know what I'm saying, in the right place at the right time, you know what I'm saying? And it, and it might really be was meant for you like gotcha before we wrap it up give us one of the best si situations that you've been in in your life that you feel like this was one of my most i don't think this is a word funnest moments okay <laughs> it's, okay one of your 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 greatest moments yo that just made you feel the most fulfilling give us one of those moments before we leave out of here Man, um, I come alive on stage, man. I love to perform. I love to perform. So uh, last September, my um, my management company, they did a big showcase, and um, they had a bunch of artists perform, and a bunch of artists performed and whatnot, and um, everybody got the same time slots and all that good stuff, like six minutes, or I think it was like eight minutes. Okay. And everybody got the same, same time slot or whatever, but the way I put on that show and the way people received what I was doing and how like they just really like took to my music and my performance and everything and it just it felt like you know when you know like you got a talent but like you know you got a gift in life yeah like this let me like stuff like that let me know that this is my gift in life like this is my purpose you know what I'm saying yeah. and yeah, so performing last last September on that stage and, and hearing people say, after I said who they need and people chanting she, 
it it was it was it was a beautiful moment, dog. Like it made me feel like that was like I was already big, you know. What I'm you saying? had one of them standing ovation. Yeah, moments. like yeah, it it was it was live, and I can't wait there for that shit to happen again, bro. Like, the show on the biggest scale. No, for it's real. coming to you, bro. For real, appreciate it's coming that, to God. you. Appreciate it. Do us a favor, tell us where the people can find you at all platforms. Hey man, you can find me on all platforms at Y A B O Y She. That's Y A, your boy, Y A B O Y She on Amazon, Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, YouTube. Uh, but on Instagram, see, that's why I'm trying to get everything changed, actually, to They Need She, because that is the actual brand and the stage name. They Need She. Remember that, please, and thank you. All right, man, we appreciate you stopping by Playhouse Studios. Man, appreciate you for having me, up, dog, man. for real. Hey, man, hopefully we'll see you soon. soon.